All right, welcome back to the Gronix test bench. Now we're going to show you how to change the pre-filters on a GX600 or GX1000. And it's very simple. Just like all our units, the first thing you do is shut off the incoming water supply. <clears throat> Next thing you do is unhook any electronics that are connected to this unit or near this unit. If you're using this unit with a pump, unplug it from the wall. <clears throat> okay, the third thing is to open this flush valve all the way. This will relieve all the standing pressure in this membrane. It'll all come out the drain tubing, depressurizing the GX600 or 1000. Now the unit's depressurized. Now it's ready for me to take apart. <clears throat> a big question, how do I know when it's time to change the pre-filters? This is a, a question that I answer every day. And it's simple. You look at these two pressure gauges. This pressure gauge is my input pressure coming into the unit. This pressure gauge is my output pressure, leaving the carbon filter. So input before the sediment, output after the carbon. When there's a 30% differential in these gauges, that means my pre-filters are dirty and I need to change them. And on page six of our manual, we give you a pressure differential chart showing you if my input pressure gauge reads 65 and my output pressure gauge reads 45, that's a 30% differential. It's time to change. So if this is 65 and this is 45, time to change the pre-filters. And you can go up the input pressure gauge to 70 input, 49 output, 75 input, 53 output, and so forth. So you don't have to do the math. We do it for you. So let's just spin it around and take those pre-filters off. Okay. So here's my sediment, here's my carbon. Let's do the carbon first. Now these things can be on there pretty tight. We tighten them up really good at the factory. Um, what you might want to do is lay this unit down on its, on its front face on the ground and then you can get a little more torque on it. Here I'm just going to use my shoulder and give it a good pull. And it comes right off. I'm going to do the same thing with my sediment filter. Just like that. Now they've been broken loose. I can easily unwind them by hand. I'm going to pour out the water. Now one thing I want to do here is make sure I don't lose this O-ring. It sits on the top of this filter housing. This is the most important part. If I lose this, I can't put it back together. So I pull out my old pre-filter and I want to wash out my housing. It's good if you have a nice sponge. You could use any kind of sponge or a rag. And so I take my new filter, make sure I don't lose the rubber gasket on the bottom, put it in. I want to use some silicone grease. Food grade silicone grease is the best. You could use a vegetable oil as well. Uh, this silicone grease really stands up over a test of time though and it'll make it a lot easier to get these filter housings off later. So I'm going to use a good amount of that, lay it on, make sure that gasket is sitting on there perfect. I'm also going to grease my carbon on the top o-ring as well so that it slides easy on this plastic boss under here. And then I'm going to hold it up, push it up straight, making sure my o-ring is on there perfect and just give it a little turn. Just like that. Once I feel it start to get snug, then I'm going to take my filter wrench. I'm going to grab the unit kind of like this and just give it a, a good wrench. Now, I like these to be really tight. <clears throat> this is not something that should be hand tight. And so whatever, way, whatever hand you are, whatever body mechanics you need, you can also lay the unit down like I said before and wrench it. I'm just going to give it another, another good wrenching. Now I'm going to move on to the sediment filter and do the same thing. Pour out the water. Make sure I don't lose my O-ring. 
pull out my filter, drain it, rinse it. Grease up my O-ring once again with a generous amount of silicone grease. Slap it on, making sure it's perfectly seated. Put in a new filter, grease the top of that filter, not much, just a little bit. And then push straight up on it and turn. When it starts to snug, Give it a little crank with my hand. <clears throat> and once again, just tighten. And that's it. Pre-filters have been changed. And so I'll turn it around. Actually, I'll run it like this so you can see if there's any leaks. So the first thing I do is close my flush valve. And then I'm going to turn my water pressure on. And just like with every Gronix, GX series unit. I'm not going to blast full pressure right away. I'm going to let the filter, filter housings fill up. So I'm at about half water pressure right now. I see air coming out of my drain tubing. Now we can see we still got a little bit of air bubbles coming out the drain tubing, but we're just about there. All the air is purged out of our unit. I can give it full water pressure now. And there we go, we're running. GX600 is flowing. <laughs>